right now, I'm going to take you to right here behind me. Right behind me is Tusker House. I'm going to take you in there. I'm going to show you around. Do a little voiceover probably over most of the stuff here. Uh, and just kind of show you what's going on. Probably a quick review. And as we come back, I will tell you my closing thoughts and what I really think of. And uh, yeah, what I really think of Tusker House. Uh, let's go. I'm going to throw you to. I say, let's go in. I've already been there. This video is from uh, late April on my birthday. And so. Enjoy the video, enjoy the, the footage and everything, and I'll come back and give you that review here shortly. So guys, we're gonna take a walk through the buffet here at Tusker uh, and see what they got here. They do have this coconut sweet potato casserole that is delightful. Just had some of that. Some beef buck tea and some noodle pop. Uh, also, ooh, looks like they have sweet plantains. Also have like a ham carving station there. Uh, the cheese blints. And then everything else is kind of standard foods. Uh, the eggs and the bacon and the Mickey waffles and tots. Pretty much standard. A little fruit that's there. A little. All the all your regular stuff. They do have uh, a couple of frittatas here. So yeah, a couple of frittatas there, and then they have this whole section over here that is like the breads and the eggs and stuff like that. So like bagels and cream cheese and and uh, muffins, things like that. Uh, salmon, eggs, tomatoes. Uh, fresh veggies, stuff like that as well, and then cheeses, uh, raisins, and all that other stuff. Cereals as well, and then uh, looks like we have some rice and some oatmeal, biscuits and gravy, and then once again, your regular stuff, uh, these potatoes right here, these interesting potatoes with the uh, red skin. Potatoes, really good. And then, uh, yeah, so it's kind of the whole the whole walk through here. The frittatas again. Like I said, all the other stuff's kind of normal. Do this island in the middle where you can get some uh, some Krispy Kreme donut holes, chocolate twists, some other breaded items here. So like this is breakfast at Tusker House. Croissants, coffee cake. Uh, some cinnamon rolls, and there is supposed to be banana pudding here, banana bread pudding. So hopefully it comes back and we'll get some of that.
So it's like a vegetable, but kind of spicy. I actually had one of those. Uh, some of the couscous, collard greens, garlic mashed potatoes, again, brown gravy. It's all right there for you. And then over here, looks like uh, some curry, some tofu. So if you're a veggie person, that looks like they have a veggie dish or two. Uh, some spicy curry chicken. Cooking a chicken, rice. And this kind of the rundown for the, the salads, the meat salads over here, all the salads. Um, all the salads you could eat. Maybe not all you could eat, but definitely all you can enjoy. Or all you all you think about eating stuff. So all of that, and then obviously the dessert aisle is, is changed up, but or the middle aisle is changed up. Check it out, like I said, we are on the cusp here. They just brought out the lunch stuff, and this is the end of the breakfast stuff. So, 
you're coming in here about 11 o'clock or maybe 10.45 res, you can probably get the best of both worlds with breakfast and lunch all at the same time. So, uh, I don't know, I, I, I might recommend that if you want to try two different, two different settings here. So, well guys, uh, I'm gonna call this a wrap for the Tusker House. There you have it guys, that was Tusker House. What, what do I think of Tusker House? I think Tusker House is a must do once, but I probably will never do it again. Um, I think it is a, it's, a, it's an experience. It's nice to meet those characters in that environment. Um, they have Mickey, Minnie, Donald, Daisy, and what, why do I want to think they have all Fab Five in there? I, I could be wrong on that one. They could be missing one of the Fab Five, but uh, so yeah, they so they all have the safari costu uh, costumes on, and so safari Mickey and Minnie and all that. So I definitely recommend this experience. The food goes as the food goes. It's, it was breakfast, so it's hard to go wrong with breakfast. Um, it was just just okay. It was just average breakfast. Good, I guess. I mean, I would. If I was ever going to come here again, I would eat the breakfast. On the way walking out, as you can see, we kind of folded over into that brunch period. So if you schedule a late breakfast, you might actually be getting brunch, but you can get your breakfast and then go back and enjoy some of the lunch. So that's a little bit of a tip if you decide to book a late breakfast there. Um, looking at the lunch stuff, I wasn't impressed. I did I tasted one or two things, but nothing. I, I mean, I just don't know. I mean, what's funny is I will try any food once. So. I don't know, maybe one of these days I'll go back and, and, and check out Tusker House for lunch or dinner, but it's not on my to-do list anymore. I've got a, a lot more places that I wanna wanna eat before before I visit the Tusker House again. Um, but I would recommend it at least for the experience once. After that, you make your own decisions. And uh, so, it was good, not great. Uh, nice character interactions, good food, good breakfast food. I don't, like I said, I don't know about dinner or the lunch, so. That's about it. Uh